You'd never guess who just visited me today. So guys, the FBI stopped by my apartment. Now, before I get into the whole story, we all know that Saturday, Donald Trump gets shot at and a piece of his ear gets hit. So with that, the FBI and everybody else is running amok, trying to follow leads or get uh, snitches or whatever it is. So the wife calls me up. I'm on the phone with a client for a photography gig. The wife wants to, she doesn't call me up. She texts me. She tried calling me up, but it didn't go through because I was on the phone, you know, the line. So of course she texts, I hang up and I see the text from her. The FBI just stopped by. And I go, the fuck did I do now? Now I'm like, the hell did I say? I'm like, well, I didn't threaten anybody, anything like that. I said, shit. At first, I was like, my taxes? Like, no, that's not that's not the reason why. I'm like, am I an illegal alien? What the fuck? And I'm like, no, that's not it. So then I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, man, the Michelle Obama dick comment. That had to be it, right? So I'm thinking all these crazy things. And I'm like, oh, the video that I did about Trump a few months ago about him possibly being assassinated because the left is desperate. So anyway, they question her. She's like, he doesn't live here anymore. We're separated the whole nine yards. So they give, she gives them my number, and then she calls me as soon as I'm off the line with the, the other client. She's like, the FBI, we're here, they're looking for you. I'm like, all right, no big deal, I'm here. She goes, they don't know your address uptown. I go, that's fine, they already know what it is. They know where you lived the, the past eight years, or probably since you were born. She goes, they don't have it. I said, they do, they'll be here in no time. That being said, we get into a conversation about other shit, hang up the phone, 10 minutes later from that, they knock on the door. So they knock on the door. I'm like, you guys want to come in? I invite them in because one, I'm not hiding shit. And two, it's too hot to deal with the bullshit. So they come inside and I'm like, yo, it's hot. There's no AC. They're like, all right. So we start talking. They start asking me questions. And the first question they ask me is like, uh, we know that you're, you know, you're on YouTube, but do, uh, does anybody allude to doing anything? I go, no, absolutely not. I said, you guys know that my channel's conservative Republican based. So there's no threats on Trump on this channel. And they're like, yeah, well, you know, just, just in general threats. I'm like, no, no, no one even threatens Biden on my channel. We all, you know, in my head, I'm like, we all say fuck him, but when no one's threatening the dude. So with that, you know, they kept asking the same question. And then a light bulb went off in my head, Hudson Valley prepping and survival. The same shit happened to him back in November of last year, where they went and visited him and they were asking him the same questions along the lines. So now I'm thinking, all right, they're here because they think I have people on my channel threatening Trump. I'm like, and, then, and again, in my back of my head, I'm like, but there were a ton of liberals on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok threatening and wanting Trump dead. A ton. But here they are sitting with me. All right. So now as they, they're going along, then they asked me about the video I made a few months ago, uh, this video here. And they're like, well, how did you know? What, what, why did you come to that conclusion? And I'm like... I came to that conclusion because I'm paying attention. I'm looking at how the left is acting. They're acting like children. I said, do you guys have kids? They go, yeah. I go, well, then you know when a kid's about to do something bad or stupid or when desperate people do desperate shit. And then the, the, the guy just looked at me like he nodded his head and the chick goes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I said, the left is desperate. I said, I don't know where you guys stand or fall. Nonetheless, the left is very desperate and that was a desperate act. Now, I didn't want to go into the conspiracy theory fact of the kid that shot at Trump was in a BlackRock commercial and that BlackRock supports Biden. Didn't want to get into that. But sitting there talking to them, they just asking me like, well, you know, you're, you're, you're a firefighter. So, you know, if, if something, if you see something, say something. I go, I said, wait, you want me to start ratting people out? I said, that's not going to happen. Like not in a million years. And she's like, well, I said, listen, and I didn't say this to them, but in my head, I'm like, well, obviously someone puts in the in the comment section, I'm going to detonate a bomb at this time in this location. I'm going to say something. But outside of that, I'm not saying anything else. And the other thing is YouTube flags 99% of those comments anyway. So I said, maybe you want to take it up with YouTube, not with me and not with channels like me. Channels like us, man, we make our videos. People say dumb shit. We either see it or we don't. I said... I get a lot of comments. I do not read through every single comment. It's impossible. 
sort of like you guys can't look through every video that's ever made about Trump being assassinated or Biden being assassinated. It's impossible. And they go, yeah, all right, so then that's where it is. So I just found it interesting that this is my second time I'm being interviewed in five years, right? So when J6 went down, they had the, I had the terrorist task force NYPD, the NYPD terrorist task force unit visit me at my job interviewing me about what I did at J6 and where I was and did I go in the building and all this other shit. And I'm like, did you guys watch the video? The guy goes, yeah, I go, well, then that's where I was. I said, I don't know what else to tell you. I said, there was no need for me to go in a building. And in fact, I didn't tell the cops this, but in fact, I was thinking to myself, why would I go in? There was like, there was no reason for me to go in. But anyway, when you know, they visited me, the cops asked me a certain question and the cop told me, he's like, well, we're working under the FBI. We're, we're uh, uh, a branch or an extended arm of the FBI. So that's why we're here interviewing you and we're interviewing other people who were down there of DC and, and J6. And I was like, all right, all right, fine. I said, but I didn't go inside. And I said, and even if I did, it's not against the law. I said, it's a public building. He's like, yeah, well, if, if people damage their damage things going inside, then it, I'm, he tried to get into the expert. I said, I don't even care. I said, the bottom line is I didn't do shit. I said, you guys saw the video. You saw where I stand. I'm pretty sure, and I didn't say this to him, pretty sure you could ping my phone. You knew my phone wasn't in the building at any time. I remember I made a, a, a wisecrack to a guy. He was like, we got in the building. We're inside. And I'm like, what are we going to do next? Rewrite the Constitution? And the guy looked at me and just walked away. Like, he looked at me like, what an asshole. And walked away. I was like, well, what are we going to do? I mean, in, in hindsight, it was dumb. There are other things that we should be j 6 over, and that wasn't it. Taxes come to mind. But anyway, so the, the FBI agents, they just made it weird. And they, you know, they were just like standing around. And of course, they're looking at all my shit. And there's like nothing around other than camera gear, some camping gear that I had, piece of wood, and some medical gear from uh, Bear Independence that's laying around. So, you know, I'm trying to, they're watching my body language. I'm watching their hands. I'm watching their body language. So it was weird because we were both assessing one another. And I think that's what made it even weird because I think we both realized that we were doing it. And then they were like, all right. You know, like they try to come with the Ozzy and Harriet routine of like the non-threatening tactic that this bullshit FBI is doing now. Like they should have came in, but like, yo, what's the fuck's up, son? You know, like, and then, yeah, yeah, you better fuck it. If they would have came with that, I would have respected a little more. It would have been a fist fight, but I would have respected a little more. The Ozzy and Harriet routine didn't work. And it, it, it just, it didn't work because there was nothing for me to do. There's like, there's no, there's nobody on my channel saying this kind of shit. I don't have anybody like... You know, yo, we got to go get Mr. Trump or, or Mr. Biden. We don't have anybody saying that shit. None of that shit's being said. But somehow, with all the problems we have, with the fentanyl coming across the border, with the illegals coming across the border, with all these cyber attacks, they said, let's fucking focus on a conservative-based channel and ask them some questions. Why don't you ask the fucking million of people who are trafficking kids all over the country? Why don't you focus on that? Why don't you focus on the fact that we have illegal immigrants coming across the border? Why would you focus on a conservative-based channel and on top of that, ask me questions in regards to if you've seen anything in regards to them wanting to take out Trump? Because this one kid who didn't, and I told him this, I said, crazy thing is, this kid didn't even lead to it. He put nothing online. He had nothing to say. He had no rants, no, no uh, document. He had nothing. He just acted. I said, you guys are going to see more of that. You're going to see people being quiet and just doing the do, keeping their mouth shut and getting after it. That's what you're going to see. You're not going to see the guy putting something on, on the angry preppers comment section. You're going to see the guy actually doing it without mentioning it. And that's what this kid did. And they, would, they just shook their head to go ahead. So again, after I said that, I thought they would have walked out. They were just still hemming and hawing like, well, you know, <laughs> maybe it's too hot for them. Maybe they didn't want to go back outside. But this apartment's fucking burning up. I got no AC in here. Maybe to my room, and that's it. But I don't have AC anywhere else. Anyway, guys, just wanted to get this fun little video out because I was really excited, man. When the wife told me they were coming over, I had to get dressed, put some deodorant on, shower up a little bit, freshen up for the FBI. I'm like, all right, make some coffee, and get ready for them. And it was a fucking lackluster event. Such is life. But I do find it interesting that Trump gets shot at, and the first people they want to interview are us conservative channels not the left-leaning lunatics that are out there actually threatening Trump. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching.